crying, you guys. Please, can we have some order here? Don't touch her. Oh my god. Okay, all right. How did Nanaimo's government come to counselors lunching at city staffers? And how can the city restore its reputation? This week, we visit the Harbor City and a council that found themselves in the news for all the wrong reasons. When you're known for having perhaps the most dysfunctional city hall in all of Canada, the question becomes, how does Nanaimo turn the page? Was it as bad as you expected or was it a little overblown? Um, anyone who's lived in Nanaimo in the last four years heard all the stories. Uh, what is more troubling for me is that uh, some of the stories appear to only be half of it. Um, what has happened here, the way people have been treated, the numbers who have left, I mean, it, it's, it's a bad news story. So bad, in fact, that only one of the councillors from the previous term was successfully re-elected. Of all the councillors that ran again and served a full four-year term, you were the only one that was re-elected. How would you evaluate what the council dynamic has been thus far? I think everybody on council is determined to, to uh, what should I say, repolish Nanaimo's uh, image. Uh, and show that yes, we are a working council that can have disagreements, but we'll respect each other around the table and uh, be civil and again show proper governance. And hopefully avoid criminal investigations, lawsuits between councillors and the mayor, an exodus of city staff. What have we lost? It's, it's the sense that we missed opportunities uh, and that we've also driven a lot of talent out of the public service in, in the Central Island. It led to a former councillor holding training sessions for people running last election in hopes of getting a team that understood the value of compromise. Nanaimo really is at the cusp of, of something. It's no longer the, the backwater, uh, the small little hub city that, uh, <clears throat> that can be dealt with in easy fashion. This is, this is a growing place with growing problems and growing opportunities. And, and to find that balance uh, is extremely important. But, and I think everybody on this council is aware of that. We have a diversity of views uh, around all kinds of issues, both on council and in the city. I think there is a, there's a general sense that we want to make this the first class city that it can and should be. If there is a silver lining to the last four years, it's that there was so much dysfunction that Krogan and Company, being all new, might have the capital to work on giant projects that could revitalize Nanaimo's downtown, so that in the future, people talk about the city instead of City Hall. Justin McElroy, CBC News, Nanaimo.